Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to review this uh, new palette from Too Faced, which is called Natural Love. Uh, it has really, really beautiful colors inside and I also applied it uh, for you. I'm going to show you how I did this makeup today. I really hope you like it and if you want to see how I did it, keep on watching. Okay, to start, I'm going to show you how it looks like uh, in the box. It has all these beautiful uh, flowers and it's like uh, with golden shimmer. A uh, little bunny and uh, yeah, it's all natural. So uh, when you open it, here on the back you have all the colors. So you can see also the ingredients uh, separated by each color. So for example, some colors have talc, uh, others don't have talc. And they're very different uh, in texture and in um, ingredients. The palette looks like this and the letters are uh, how you say this this is like a velvet so it's very 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 beautiful also flowers are velvety and when you open it let me just show you the the mirror is gigantic i'm not going to show you i don't want to open it completely because then you're going to see what i have behind the camera but i mean it's a gigantic mirror so it's very comf um, comfortable also for i would say traveling if you need like to pack one palette um, you also know that you have a gigantic mirror that's very useful and so uh, colors are 30 so there are 30 colors mixed mattes and shimmers it's very beautiful i mean i fall in love with this palette because i think that all of these colors i could use every day and then also you have darker ones uh, mattes and shimmers so you can have like also darker looks if you need for um, evening or special occasions uh, but also these ones that are like uh, lilac pinkish tones nudey mauvey here you also have uh, gray silver uh, you have golden two golden you have black matte uh, matte brown matte beige one and two uh and also this one which is called heaven i think you can use it for like setting your lid and like for um these ones also for like a, as a transition shade so very 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 beautiful palette every color is unique but still very versatile so uh let's start uh i'm going to set my whole lid with uh, this color which is called heaven Then I'm going to take uh, Lace Teddy, this one, which is light pinkish nude color. It's going to be like a transition shade for the next color. And then also this color I'm going to use in the inner angle, like right under my eyebrow it's so light you probably can't see it then I'm taking uh, this color which is from my NYX ultimate brights palette I think I'm going to do a mixture between these two so the lilac one and the pinkish one I'm going to connect it with the other angles and just just a clean brush and like clean the edges now I'm going to take the uh, color that is called kittens such a cute name so this one this one is uh, violet but it has a golden golden shimmer and I'm using it also very lightly like on the inner corner of my eye where I um, so under the 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 rose one then I'm going to take this one 
which is like more brighter uh, fuchsia color. Almost creating the V shape. And then I will blend it with the, um, that little puffy brush. Maybe I will add this one too, to have more purple effect. Just here. Now I think that I'm going to use satin sheets on, which is this one. It's uh, like a peachy with also golden, uh, golden shimmer. I'm going to use it on the top of my lid, but I'm going to use it with my fingers because it's not intense enough if you use it with a brush. So, satin sheets. Just here. Under my eyebrow, I will use pink cheeks. This one, which is not pink, I don't know why it's called pink cheeks, but oh well. <laughs> this one. And also in my inner corners, always pink cheeks. Just here. It's a little bit more uh, on the violet blue side, I think. For my under eyes, I wanted to use something purple. So it's going to be, I think, a mixture of these two. And I'm going to take kittens again, so this one, to blend them more like down. For mascara I'm going to use a roller lash from Benefit because this uh, brush, I really love this mascara, this brush is uh, very, um, I don't know if you can see, um, it's curved and it's very thin so the bristles are thin so it's going to give me like that, uh, you know, I don't have a mascara mascara look. It separates very good so your lashes are like this, not like this. Or, you know like this sometimes what happens with some mascaras when you use this one lashes are separated that's what I like can you see how it curved my lashes like here on the inside you don't need a lash curler with this one for my blush I already have a bronzer and I used this cute palette from Benefit which has Hula Light, it has Hula Normal Hula and it has California New Blush, the Dandelion or Dandelion and the Rocketeur, so the most selling, most famous blushes inside. Uh, and it was very convenient because you only paid like two products and you have six, uh, no actually five products inside. Uh, for this look today I'm going to use a mixture of these two, but I'm not going to use them like uh, classically on my cheeks. Today I'm going to, to, to try that famous um, drapping technique, technique, which is uh, popular right now, which actually com uh, comes from the uh, 80s, so it's nothing new. So I'm going to use this and this one. So drapping technique actually uh, says that you are putting blush from your temple to maybe here, something like like um, 80s trend. And so you're starting here and doing it slightly here, and then you stop. You don't you don't go down. I have already tried this technique in my Frida Kahlo video, and I'm going to leave a link somewhere here if you didn't see it. But um, anyways, it's I think it's very cute and. Um, 
even if you don't like blush you can do this um, anyway because uh, it maybe using some lighter colors I think you look much fresher much much younger with this kind of blush application of course in the 80s this trend was much much more intense and um, we all remember David Bowie he also uh, did his makeup in this um, with these techniques 70s and 80s that's the time when they did it this lipstick which is from Sephora this one is number 16 from their lip stain collection I love these ones it's uh, very creamy very uh, comfortable on your lips and when it dries it dries matte and it stays all day you can drink you can eat it really is great lipstick um, or maybe I should use this which is like a Dior gloss but it's more on the purple side I don't know I think I'm going to go with the Sephora one. So that's it for this makeup look. I really hope you like it. Uh, so mostly I use actually these kind of colors from this range here, purples and, and pinks. If you want to see me using also this kind of uh, darker, warmer browns and uh, peachy colors, maybe also this greens and uh, silvery ones write me down in the comments uh, if you want to see some uh, makeup look on these colors too I would be happy to do it for you and uh, so yeah if you like this makeup look and if you like this palette as much as I did just click like on this video and subscribe to my channel also don't forget to check out my previous videos and I really really hope uh, we're going to see uh, see you soon bye